What's going on guys? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So today we're gonna do a little talk in the car before I go in here and get my burger on here at Elevation Burger. By the way, if you guys haven't tried Elevation Burger and there's one near you, go check it out. It is probably the healthiest way you're gonna find a burger. It's completely grass-fed beef. Um, the fries are made in peanut oil. You're looking for a cheap meal that doesn't impact your health like the shitty fast food. This is the place to go. Anyways, so this video um, could be triggering to some people. I'll put that there right now. It's not about COVID. It's not about, um, you know, stuff going on in the war. It's about child molestation and the Cain Velasquez story that has unfolded in the last week or so um, that we've seen where he's been arrested for shooting someone that molested his little daughter. Now, Cain's a 40 year old man. Now, he did shoot the pedophile's father. It was the wrong person for what I understand. But here's the deal. The news is telling us this and I trust the news about I don't trust the news. I don't trust the news at all. So bottom line is. We don't know what the fuck is going on. The father could have been part of it. Why? I don't even know what the fuck is going on because none of the facts have actually come out yet because he hasn't gone through a trial or anything. But what happened was his daughter was molested and they let the person out. The person got arrested. They let him out, bail, cognizance, whatever they fucking did, but they let him out. And Kane was like, I'm not fucking having this. And he fucking went and shot the guy. He was trying to shoot the pedophile, but shot his father instead by accident. That's the story. And there's outrage, like, how can he do this? And blah, 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 blah. Hang on. My buddy Cavallini put up a post on Instagram, Chris Cavallini, supporting Cain Velasquez and saying, you know what? That is your duty as a fucking man and a father to protect your fucking kids. This whole thing about the fucking justice system, fuck you. I'm sorry, but this justice system is so fucking broken. A pedophile getting out of fucking jail, even if he's just accused of it. <laughs> there's so many times these motherfuckers, they go to jail. And they get off. They get off on, you know, like, oh, they'll give them probation and they have to go to, like, fucking counseling or whatever. And they let these motherfuckers back out on the street, which is exactly what happens. There was another case a couple years ago. The father took a fucking hammer and killed the fucking pedophile with a hammer for fucking sneaking in his daughter's fucking room and molesting her, like, in the middle of the night. He broke into the house. The dude was let out. They never fucking prosecuted him. He took a fucking hammer and killed the guy. And he got off. Why? Because he fucking raped his little daughter. What the fuck? Like, I can't fathom. There are bleeding heart liberals out there going, well, these people can't help themselves if they're attracted to children. That is, I've never heard anything like that in my fucking life before the last year or so. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Look, I'm a 46-year-old man. I'm attracted to many different types of women. Tall, short, redheads, blondes, whatever. Just because I'm attracted to them doesn't mean I force myself on them when I see them. That's what these pedophiles are doing. Child molestation, sexual abuse. They are raping these kids. If you put the, the word rape in the context of raping a woman, the same bleeding heart liberals that will say, well, they're just, they're attracted to children. They can't help it. That's how they're wired. Would lose their fucking mind and say, raping a woman is the most horrible, heinous crime you could ever commit. But molesting or sexually assaulting a child, it's not their fault because it's the way that they're wired. What the fuck? You're changing semantics to make it not sound as bad. Forcing yourself on someone, whether they're a child, a woman, a man, whatever the fuck it is, is wrong, period. And the way that this fucking country runs now, so many laws have been changed to protect these fucking people. The pedophiles, the people that are doing the crimes. A lot of them don't go to prison. They get off on fucking, and some of them are repeat offenders. They still don't go to prison. They go to counseling. They go to psychiatric counseling. They got probation. They get the fucking ankle bracelet and they can't leave their house or they can't live near a school. Big deal you don't live near a school. You got a fucking car, a bike, you can walk, drive. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And I believe, <clears throat> here's the deal. I'm going to speak to you guys. This is going to be a very deep conversation for me. and uh, But it's the truth. Cain Velasquez going after this guy. His daughter knows that, number one, it's not her fault what happened. Number two, her father loves her very much. And number three, it is unacceptable to harm a child. That's what that kid knows right now. So Cain Velasquez, as a father, is fucking hitting it out of the park. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's doing the right things, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying you should harm someone or shoot someone. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is protecting your kids at all costs is your fucking job when you decide to have kids, period. Now, I'm going to give you a story. My story. I was sexually assaulted, molested, whatever you want to call it. I was about 10 years old. And I went to my parents. I told them they did nothing. They did absolutely fucking nothing. 
And I saw my dad getting into fights with people over arguments about shit. I seen him punch somebody out because he hit a fucking, um, uh, the guy had punched a, a handicapped guy. So my father beat the sh fucking, knocked him out fucking right in the middle of the street. I saw my father fight for a lot of things, but I never saw him fight for me. I didn't see him go after the fucking, my uncle, my great uncle. I didn't see him go after him. I didn't see him fucking yell at him. I didn't see him make him fucking apologize. I didn't see them call the cops. I didn't see shit. They did nothing. My parents did nothing about that. Now, that being said, what do you think happened to me? I felt like my parents didn't care. And I held that shit with me for like 28 years. I fucking held that shit and I kept that shit like a fucking chip on my shoulder. My parents, I don't care whether they buy me everything. I don't care what they fucking say. I don't care what they fucking, what kind of appearances they give to other people. They don't fucking care about me. They didn't protect me. And when fucking push came to shove, they didn't even fucking back me up and do anything about it when I was harmed. That's what happened to me. So, of course, by, that's age 10, by age 12, I'm drinking heavily on the weekends. And I mean getting rip-roaring fucking hammered. Jack Daniels at 12 years old, fucking slamming it. We had those big-ass bottles, too. Smoking weed at 13, drinking heavily through high school and partying with stuff like that. Painkiller started right after high school when fucking I started wrestling. Injectable painkillers leading to Oxycontin, leading to heroin, leading to all these types of things. And all of that stemmed from the fact that I was molested as a kid and no one fucking stuck up for me. No one, not a single fucking family member. Nobody stuck up for me anywhere in any way, fucking shape or form. Supposedly, my grandmother was told about it and she told him, oh, no, nothing was ever said to me. 40 years later, I finally find out something happened, but no one thing was ever said to me. I was just left to hang on my own and deal with it on my own. No therapy, no nothing. So let me ask you a question. You're an adult. You're, you're a father. You're a mother. Your nine-year-old, your eight-year-old has been forcefully sexually assaulted. Someone has had sex with your fucking kid. And you find out about it. What do you do? Do you call the cops? Do you talk to your kid? Do you get them counseling? Do you, what are the steps? What do you do? Okay, you go buy the book and that motherfucker gets out two days later and he's walking around and he never winds up paying the price. He never winds up going to jail. He never winds up paying fines. Maybe he has a little community service or something like that. He never pays the price. You're okay with that? You're okay with that? <laughs> At the very least, you should be telling your children that it's not their fault. Are these people are sick. It's not how they're wired. They're evil. These people are evil. People that rape women, people that molest kids are fucking evil. There is no good in these fucking people. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Oh, there's good in everybody. I don't buy that. I don't buy that one fucking bit. I believe that there are people on this fucking earth that are controlled by demons that have demons themselves, meaning they were raped and molested and beaten as kids and they fucking continue the cycle. It doesn't change. It doesn't fucking change. You lock a pedophile up in a prison, if they're in a general population, that pedophile will be dead in two days. Because the rest of the prisoners who are fucking murderers and everything else fucking despise pedophiles. They rape them and they kill them in jail. This is real. This is 100% legit. Like, even the most fucking heinous people that commit the fucking most heinous crimes hate pedophiles. So now let's get back to the topic. You know, Cain went and shot this fucking dude. I'll say this. I don't know. I don't know what I would do in the case of, you know, if I had a kid and they were molested or assaulted. I don't know. I don't know if Kane, you know, didn't just fly off the handle and go after him. I know that, you know, he was waiting for this guy to get arrested and be busted and stuff and nothing was happening. So he took it into his own hands. There is a lot of laws that protect these pedophiles and allow them to go out there and prey on these kids over and over again. And they don't do the time they deserve. So I don't know if Kane went to his daughter and said, here's the deal. This is not your fault. I'm going to take care of this. Like, you're okay. I know this is going to be hard, but we'll get through this together. I don't know. You know, that's his personal business that he did with his kid to, to try to make that kid feel secure and not walk out in the world like I did. Every day I walked out in the world after that. And every older person I saw, because my uncle was in his 80s, he's my great uncle. Every older person I saw, I would be like, you know, I was walking out there looking over my shoulder at anybody. I thought anybody could attack me at any time. Anybody could hurt me at any time. That was a 10-year-old walking around like that. Right. And I had a lot of old people in my family. So I was like, well, my great uncle did this to me this time. Who's next? What other family members are coming after me next? What is going to happen next? Right. That was bad enough. Is it going to be worse next time? What the fuck is going on? And I lived my life like that for fucking 28 years, 28 fucking years. I lived like that. 
man, I look back and I'm like, no wonder why I was so fucked up. I wanted to get in fights with everybody. I didn't do well in school. I was off the fucking rail. I was taking every drug I could get my fucking hands on at one point just to fucking numb myself. And it all stems from that one fateful day when I was 10 years old where I was assaulted. So asking me, Jared, you know, what do you think about the Cain Velasquez thing? Look, in my older years, I've tried to become very nonviolent. I don't want to fight. I don't want to hurt people. But fuck that. If it comes down to brass tacks, let's go. You know, like, I mean, something like this is not something that you just push away because it damages the kid. And sometimes, you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm still damaged to this day. To this day, both of my parents are dead and I am still upset with them. I am still mad at them. I still hold them responsible for not taking care of me on that fucking day and thereafter. It doesn't matter anything else that went on in my life. That is a pivotal point in someone's life where they no longer feel safe in their own house because it happened in my own house. They no longer feel safe on the school bus because my great uncle was a fucking school bus driver. He was a school bus driver for middle school kids. The age kids that he molested, he used to drive a school bus full of them. How fucked up is that? That is fucking crazy. I didn't feel safe anywhere. Anywhere. In my own fucking bedroom where it happened. I didn't feel safe. So if you don't feel safe like that, what do you think you're going to do? How do you think you're going to feel? What do you think is going to happen for the rest of your life? Until you figure out how to fix this. And look, realistically, nobody knows how to fix this. Counselors don't know how to fix it. They can tell you the things that you know you need to hear. But the deal is, when it happened, actions need to take place. My parents should have stood up and fought for me. They should have had me there, watched me, let me watch them fight for me. Like they fought for other people when the other people needed it. Watch them go to fucking town and take that motherfucker out. Have him arrested. Have him locked up. Beat the shit out of him. Whatever. Anything to say, we love you. We got your back. And this is not your fault. We'll take care of this. Fuck him. It never happened. So, Cain Velasquez, I do think there's a good possibility he'll get off. I do. I mean, hands down, he can plead. And I don't give a fuck if he's, oh, he's an MM fighter. It doesn't give him that. It make a fucking difference. He's a human being. He's a man who has a family and his daughter was assaulted. He's protecting his fucking family. And I'll be honest with you, I don't see anything wrong with protecting your family. I just don't, especially in these situations like this. This is going to fuck that kid up. No matter how much therapy she has, no matter how much, you know, her father is there for her, it's not going to matter. Like, this kid is damaged for the rest of her life in a certain way. And I hope that she can get over that to the best of her ability. Like, again, I've got over to the point where I can function and I can have a life. But I still still have that burning pit in my stomach to know that I was assaulted and nobody did shit about it. I wasn't worth having someone fight for me. I wasn't worth having my parents take care of me and comfort me and protect me. I wasn't worth any of it. I had long hair at that point, right? I was really into heavy metal music and stuff as a kid. It's my fault because I have long hair. I look like a girl. I wore tight jeans like Metallica. It's my fault because I wear tight jeans like Metallica. I look like a girl. Those are the thoughts that went through my head. I went the exact opposite. Cut my fucking hair off, right? Wore these baggy clothes and shit. Tried to bulk up to 300 fucking pounds because I didn't want to look like a girl. I don't want to be the reason why people are going to come after me and sexually assault me because I'm giving that message. That's what I fucking had in my head because I wasn't told otherwise and nobody did a fucking thing. Didn't lift a fucking finger to help me. So be aware, guys. Look, I know this video might be hard for some people to listen to. I'm fully aware. But it's the truth. It's my truth. It's what happened to me. And I'm seeing it play out right now with somebody famous like Cain Velasquez. I'm seeing my boy Cavallini get shit for the things he's saying. Chris came out recently and said on his Instagram he was sexually assaulted as a kid too. So until you've been assaulted, until you've been molested, until you've been the one that feels like you're a piece of shit, it's your fault, you're just being used like a fucking piece of meat just because you're there. And nobody fucking cares. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody's going to help you. Look, Superman ain't coming. Batman ain't coming. Fuck, your parents aren't even coming to save you. Nobody's coming to fucking help you. You're alone on a fucking island with nothing. And everyone around you, they're a threat. Including your parents that didn't even protect you. So until you've gone through that, fuck your opinions. I don't give a shit. This justice system, fuck that justice system. It's so fucked up right now. It's ass backwards. So many people that fucking get off for just the fucking worst things. Shit, people own these fucking riots and shit. They're burning fucking police stations down. They're back on the street in two hours. 
that's what's been going on in this country. Defund the police. That's where it went, right? Defund this, defund that. Oh, give everybody another chance, right? Oh, they're just wired. There's this new thing being pushed that pedophiles can't help themselves because it's the way that they're born. It's the, the, how they're wired. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Like, let's say how I'm wired is to punch old ladies in the face because I hate old ladies. Is that okay because the way I'm wired? No, stop fucking <laughs> creating the biggest bullshit narrative to make it okay for these people to diddle little kids and get away. Look, Kane will never see this, but if he did, Kane, you protected your daughter, and at the very least, she knows that you love her and that you're willing to go to prison for the rest of your life for her. Trading your life for hers, that's a hero. That's a fucking hero. So in closing, I don't believe in violence anymore. I don't believe that someone should shoot someone for something. I don't believe that Cain should have shot them. I don't believe, I'm not saying any of this was right. I'm saying this was his actions, but where the actions come from, the pedophile's actions come from inside evil, lust, gluttony, all the fucking evil things to, to harm this child. Cain's came out of love. And with that, I gotta say that's the right thing. So in closing, don't be violent. Don't, don't go out there and take matters into your own hands. However, make sure your kids know that they're protected. Make sure your kids love them. Make sure your kids know that they're not a piece of shit and they're worth something other than just being used like a fucking ragdoll for sexual abuse. Let them know that you care because I promise you that shit's going to try. It's going to go with them the rest of their lives, whether you know it or not. And whether you know it or not, if you don't take care of them, they will fucking blame you. Thank you guys for listening. I'm BioStreet and I approve this message. I'm going to have my burger now. And <laughs> we are out.